Hello everyone, I am Vacated and welcome back to my channel. So if you're a viewer of my content, you're probably wondering where I've been. My last Smash video was uploaded over three months ago now, and I've really just been slacking off this year when it comes to my channel. So, what exactly happened? Well, okay, I'm just gonna get real with you guys. No jokes, no memes, just real talk. The truth is, I just haven't been enjoying making Smash videos, and I haven't for some time now. I kept trying to lie to myself by making excuses like, Oh, I'm just taking a break, and I just need some time away to play other games, but... As I said, those were just excuses. In reality, I just don't enjoy making Smash content anymore, and the last time that I truly enjoyed playing, making, and editing a video was almost a year ago from now. Every video posted since then began to feel more and more like a chore to record and edit. Immediately after uploading a video, I would feel exhausted and would usually begin dreading next week's upload because for some reason, I felt obligated to continue. Eventually, I realized that what I truly wanted was to move on from Smash, and that's what I've decided I'm gonna do. So, what now? Well, let's talk about it. First, let's go over a brief history of my channel. On July 16th, 2016, I uploaded my first ever YouTube video. Now, if you're an OG on this channel, then you'll remember that I used to make generic Let's Play videos, my first series being the game Animal Crossing City Folk. These videos simply consisted of me playing the game, uncut, talking about whatever random crap was on my mind. It was fun while it lasted, and I have some very good memories attached to the making of those videos. The first time that I ever deviated from this formula was with a video called Assassin's Creed Origins Gameplay. This video was very different from my previous ones. In it, I played the newly released Assassin's Creed Origins, and I'd go around and badly showcase all the cool stuff you could do in it. I never made another video like it, but it was also one that I had a lot of fun with. And finally, over a year later, I made my very first Smash Ultimate video. In retrospect, it's kind of garbage. I used a really cheap capture card, the editing is so scarce that it's practically uncut, and I sound like an infant, but garbage or not, it was the first time that I had experienced the Smash Bros. formula that would later go on to define my channel. And at the time, I really enjoyed it. However, at that point, I wasn't planning to focus on Smash exclusively, and I still felt obligated to keep making Let's Play videos. Around May, I attempted to start a Let's Play series of Kingdom Hearts 2, but I canceled it after six episodes. During the time that I was making this series, I had also made a few more Smash videos, and I was finding that the Smash formula was a lot more fresh and exciting than the now boring and stale Let's Play formula. Besides, at this point, I had just felt like Let's Plays weren't my thing anymore, and the only thing that kept me doing them was my own obligation. Around June, I had officially decided that I wanted to be a Smash Bros. YouTube channel. I privated all of my old non-Smash videos, because I was 10 and they were cringe, and I attempted to rebrand myself with new channel art and a newer, cooler persona. Spanning from June to December, I had some of the most fun that I've ever had in terms of making videos, and even just with playing Smash in general. I would chill and have fun while playing the new DLC characters, I made videos with my friends CJ and Grendel, I even did a collab video with Schluck, a Smash-related YouTuber that I had been watching for some time leading up to then. This time period for my channel was and will forever be my golden age on YouTube. However, when the new year began, I started to feel a little sluggish. I had lost all motivation to make any videos, but I kept going purely out of my own obligation, a feeling I knew all too well at that point. But after my Byleth video, I just kind of dropped the ball. Within that time period that I wasn't making any videos, I quickly realized that I was just simply having more fun doing other things. Eventually, around April, I uploaded a return video where I explained why I had been slacking and chalked it up to me just wanting to upload on my own terms and only make videos when I wanted to. I said these things because I hoped that maybe I was just burnt out and my motivation would return soon, but it never really did. I just wasn't enjoying making Smash videos anymore and I was afraid of accepting that truth. I had built my whole persona around Smash and I was simply afraid of accepting a fact that went against my entire online existence. The next day, I began working on a new video. Again, this was purely out of my own obligation. After I uploaded this new video, something just didn't feel right. That feeling of satisfaction when I'd finally finish and upload a video was almost completely absent. For the next several months, I just kind of existed in this limbo where I didn't really want to make any videos, but I also didn't want to straight up quit YouTube either. It wasn't until this month that I finally came to the conclusion that I just simply don't want to create Smash Bros content anymore and that I'm now ready to move on. So I'm sure you have a few questions. Am I going to keep making videos? If so, what kind of videos am I going to make? Although I may no longer enjoy making Smash content specifically, I still love making videos. I've been contemplating moving on to something else for a few months now, but I can never really figure out what that new thing would be. Should I get into a new game? Maybe move away from competitive gaming? Make Reddit text-to-speech videos? I'm kidding, those videos are garbage. <laughs> anyway, I couldn't quite figure out what I wanted to do. Then, the other day, it hit me. If you watched any of my videos, you know that I love talking. While playing Smash, I'll go off on tangents about whatever crosses my mind, and this has been something that I've been doing since the beginning of my channel. And one thing I especially love talking about is video games. All the time I find myself talking about video games with my friends, my parents, and even sometimes myself. Yeah, that's right, don't judge me. I've also found that I really enjoy making reviews of games that I play. I just love expressing how I feel about games, and I'll write multi-paragraph long reviews of them, even if I'm the only one that sees them. I recently came to the realization that what I want to do is to make video essays talking about various games that I feel strongly about, and simply talk about why I feel the way I do about them. I feel like this type of content will allow me to truly enjoy making videos again. Plus, I just love sharing my opinions. I already have several ideas for video topics, so be sure to stay tuned. Now, I'm still not sure if I'll be making these types of videos indefinitely. After all, there's nothing stopping the cycle of uninterest from repeating itself. But for now, I think this is definitely a step in the right direction for me and the future of my channel. 
As for Smash Ultimate, I still absolutely love playing it, and my relationship with the game itself has not been damaged at all. I specifically just don't enjoy making gameplay videos of it anymore. However, I'm still gonna leave all of my Smash videos public because I'm still pretty proud of a lot of them, and I feel like they'll be a great way to look back and see how my channel has grown. Also, that reveal the other day still has me speechless. I never thought I'd see the day that Steve from Minecraft joined Smash Bros. Unfortunately, I won't be making a gameplay video of Steve, but don't worry, because I've got a different kind of video planned for him very soon. Alright, I'm about to do the outro, but I wanted to say a few more things. I'm gonna try to avoid being cheesy here, but I'm about to get sentimental. I've made a lot of new friends and strengthened already existing friendships because of this game, and in a way, it makes me feel kinda sad that I'm gonna be moving on from it. Of course, I can still hang out with or talk to all these people, but it just feels kinda sad to finally be moving on from the one thing that made a lot of us friends in the first place. So real quickly, I just wanted to give some special thanks to a few notable people. CJ, Grindel, Freeze, Nega Entity, Greninja the Man, Kaido Ken, Schluck, Adam the Beast, and Sly Guy. You guys have all earned your moment in the spotlight, and I want to thank all of you for being a part of this small little community. I may not be doing Smash anymore, but to me, you guys are all still part of the family. Okay, enough with the sappy music, let's move on. Alright, I think I pretty much cleared everything up. I hope that none of you guys are disappointed with these changes, because I know that a good bit of you enjoyed my Smash content, but in the end, I know that I'll have a lot more fun with this new style of content, and I hope that you guys can too. This video marks a new era, a sort of rebirth of my channel, so I'm very excited but just as equally terrified. I hardly have any idea of what to expect, but I'm ready to begin the journey into this unknown path. I might become incredibly successful or I might fail miserably, but the only way to find out is to give it a shot. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this adventure. And most of all, thank you so much for watching.